Today's class is a gentle morning mandala flow. With the mandala flow, we'll be moving all around our mat in a circular motion. It'll be super great for stimulating the mind, grounding the body, and really getting a nice feel-good stretch here. Let's get started in a seated cross-legged position. I'm sitting on the very edge of a pillow. Take a moment to settle yourself into your space sitting upright and tall. Shoulders relax away from the ears and the chin is level with the floor so that we're not tilting the head back over exposing the throat or dropping the chin to the chest. The chin is just level here. And just begin to feel your sit bones rooted down into the ground beneath you. Maybe even sensing your body as a whole. Relaxing into this feeling of upright, yet relaxed. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Doing that one more time. Inhale, fill up completely. Grow a little tall as you breathe in. Long, slow exhale, let it go. Let yourself continue to breathe deeply and smooth out the breath. Breathing fully and evenly. softening the mind into the present moment, into this place of breath. Maybe even just feeling the breath in the heart space as your chest lifts and lowers. Place the fingertips out to the sides of the body. With your next inhale, raise the arms up and overhead, reach through the fingers. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. Coming into arm raises. Inhale, bring the arms up, link breath with movement. Exhale, fingertips down to the mat. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, let's place the hands down onto the knees and we're going to cross the right arm over the left. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest. From here, find equal arms by taking right arm around the left, lifting elbows in line with shoulders as you send the arms out and away. Creating this nice stretch through your upper back. Maybe the hands clasp through the palms. Maybe just the back of the hands come to touch. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, unwind. Inhale, reach the arms up. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale, this time left arm over right as the hands come to the knees. Exhale, chin to chest, round through your spine. Stretching the back of the neck. And then with an inhale, eagle arms this side, left arm, or rather right arm around the left, elbows in line with the shoulders. Sending the arms out and away, create space through your shoulder blades. Coming back to your breath, smooth the breath out. Maybe taking your deepest, juiciest breath yet of the practice.
Let's inhale, release the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, crack open your heart, cactus the arms. Send the elbows close to touch, shoulder blades together as you lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release, hands to the ground. Make your way to tabletop position. Hands under knees, knees under hips. Coming right into tabletop circles. Let's keep the toes tucked over to get a nice stretch through the feet. Exhale, hips towards heels. And inhale forward. Little circles here. Circling through the hips, the shoulders. Even getting a nice stretch through the wrists. Let's switch that movement, circle the other way. Inhale through center. Exhale back, puppy pose. Toes tucked under, walk the hands in front of you. Exhale, chest down towards the mat. Option for the chin to rest on the ground for a deeper stretch, or the forehead maybe comes down to the mat. The goal here being to keep the hips right above the heels and this really nice heart opener. Maybe even drawing your attention to the center of your thoracic spine, feeling the intensity of the stretch in your body. Redirecting your mind towards the breath. Breathe evenly and fully. With an inhale, come through tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. With a big inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine as you tuck the chin. Finding cat cow. Let's do a couple more. Breathe deeply as you move. Let the moon be guided by breath. Inhale forward. Exhale, spine up towards the ceiling. Press the ground away. One more. Inhale. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck your tailbone. Press the ground away. Inhaling through neutral spine. Tuck the toes under if they aren't already. Walk the hands one hand length out in front of you. Deep breath in. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog as the gaze goes towards the toes. Spread your fingers wide. And maybe take a moment to pedal out the feet, send one heel down towards the ground as you bend the other knee deeply. Inhale through center, exhale other side. One heel down, other knee bent. Coming through downward facing dog, let's reach the heels down towards the ground. If the heels feel really far away from the ground, Option to step your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance, walking the feet towards the edges of the mat. Press into the mat, reaching through your shoulders. And then send your heart down and away towards the tops of your thighs, creating a slight heart opener back bend here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come up high on the toes. Exhale, walking meditation, tiny steps up to meet the hands. Forward fold. Take your time. The feet land hip with distance apart. We grab opposite elbow, the opposite hand for ragdoll. Chin drops to the chest. Weight sinks towards the toes. Notice your breath. Notice if it's changed a bit. See if we can gently guide it back to center. 
smooth, even breaths. Might even feel nice to seal the lips, letting the air just move through the nose. Using the nose to regulate and purify the breath. Gently release the hands, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, straight legs. Exhale, fold. Hands plant on the ground and we take one big step back with left foot, coming into revolved lunge. Plant left hand, inhale right up to the sky as you stack through the shoulders. See if you can lift your right hip point in line with your right knee. Stay high into the ball of the back foot. Once you feel set up and sturdy, redirect your awareness towards your breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, both hands frame front foot. Drop the left knee down onto the mat. Inhale through the fingertips, low lunge. Exhale, sink the hips down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, we slowly plant right hand down on the inside of the right foot. As we do so, kickstand left side, left foot, the back foot out behind you. Coming into baby side angle, reach left fingertips up to the sky. And allow the gaze to come right below you Maybe looking towards your right toe. Breathe in. Exhale, float left hand to the back of the mat, coming into side plank. Seal the knife edge of the right foot down towards the mat. And let's reach right fingertips up and overhead getting a little side stretch through right side body. See if you can imagine those low ribs on your right side body reaching up towards the ceiling as you create this rainbow shape through your body. Notice your breath here. And take a deep breath in through the right rib cage, deepening that stretch through your side body. Inhale, right fingertips up to the sky. Maybe float right foot up off the ground. They're floating the leg. Find a flex in the right toes. Option just to hold side plank. It's a great modification here. If you're following me with the floated leg, maybe you'd like to find half moon, baby half moon by slowly bending into the right leg, capturing right foot with right hand. As the hand to foot touch, we kick the right leg out behind us, finding a stretch through the shoulder. Stack through the shoulders here, keep the heart open, and maybe the gaze comes to the ceiling. Breathe in. Long, slow exhale out. Inhale, everything unwinds long. Slowly draw the right knee into the chest and then place right foot on the outside of the mat, turning towards the back of the mat. Setting up for lizard lunge, we take the right foot to the very edge of the mat, right toes pointing out. Plant the left hand, inhale the right. Option to stay here or maybe you start to bend into the left knee, right hand reaching for left foot. We have several deep breaths here. So 
take a moment to breathe slowly and deeply, focusing on making each breath full and smooth. Maybe noticing if you can focus on releasing the exhale out just a little bit slower. Lengthening the exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, both hands come to the inside of the right foot. Tuck left toes under. Let's take one big step to the back of the mat with the left foot for Malasana. Toes out, heels in. If the feet feel extra tight, then keep the hands on the ground. If you can release the hips down towards the heels, maybe the hands find the heart as the elbows come to the insides of the thighs. Taking a moment here to drop back into your heart space. Coming back to your center. Breathing in. Breathing out. See if you can stay fully present with the next full breath in. And the next full breath out. Blink open the eyes if they're closed. Place both hands onto the mat. From here, take one big step with the right foot and then the left foot coming into plank pose. Press the ground away. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze to the feet as you step the feet hip width distance apart. Reach through the arms and spread the fingers wide. Take a moment here to feel your weight distributed evenly between the hands and the feet. Then this deep connection with the ground beneath you. With your next inhale, walking meditation towards the back of the mat. Tiny little steps, take your time. Once you've made it, feet step hip width distance apart. Reach peace fingers for the big toe. Wrapping the fingers around the legs, swing the elbows out to the left or the right. Micro bend or deeply bend into the knees. As you draw the chest down, nice stretch through the hamstrings. Release the hands, inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, straight legs. Exhale, hands frame the feet. Take one big step back with right foot. Find high revolved lunge as you plant right hand. Inhale, the left to the sky. Maybe left fingertips begin to slowly float over left shoulder, opening up even more through the chest. Slowly lift the left hip in line with the left knee and press out of the ball of the back foot. Take a moment to connect with your breath. Be coming back to that idea of slowing the exhale down as you let go of the breath. Inhale, low lunge, dropping down onto the back knee. Both hip points begin to face forward as we inhale the fingertips up to the sky. Sinking the hips down, nice stretch through right hip flexor. Let's take one more deep breath in. 
exhale, plant the left hand on inside of left foot. As we kickstand the right leg out behind us, finding baby side angle, reach right fingertips up and overhead. Notice your breath. Notice if you can breathe just a bit more evenly here. Inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand at the back of your mat, or rather the front again, coming into side plank. Seal the knife edge of the left foot down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, side bend. Lift those left ribs up towards the ceiling. Drop left bicep alongside the ear. Left fingertips coming towards the front of the mat. One more deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, let it go. From here, inhale, lift left hand above the right, shoulders stacked. Once here, maybe float the left foot up off of the ground. Flex in the left toes, keeps the whole leg engaged. If you'd like to take this further, slowly bend into the left leg, reach the left arm behind you. Capture left foot with left hand, and then kick the leg out and back, stretching through left shoulder. Send the gaze right down in front of you, looking at your right hand. Notice your breath. Breathing here, slow and deep. Inhale, everything reaches out long. Slowly take the left knee into the chest and then step left foot towards the front of the mat, finding lizard lunge. The left foot is on the edge of the mat, toes slightly pointing out to the left. Plant the right hand. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Once here, option to bend into the right leg. Maybe capture right foot with left hand. We have several deep breaths here. So see if you can settle into the present moment in this pose by noticing sensation. How does it feel to be here in your body? How does it feel to breathe here in this pose? Just noticing the breath and then consciously guiding it deeper. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, both hands come to the inside of left foot. Tuck right toes under, we're gonna take one big step back, plank pose. From plank pose, let's lower down as slowly as we can all the way to the belly. Elbows brush the insides of the ribs. Flip the tops of the feet down, tent up onto the fingertips. Forehead to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Long, slow exhale, let it go. Press the tops of the feet into the ground, lifting up the knees. And as you inhale, roll up. Head is the last to lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rolling cobra. Exhale, come down one vertebra at a time. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, let it go. Let's press the hands under the shoulders and slide the hips all the way back for child's pose. Tuck the toes under, 
Send the chest down towards the tops of the thighs as you reach the fingertips forehead, or forward rather, and forehead comes to the mat. Take a moment to breathe deeply into the back body. As you inhale, you feel the ribs reaching out towards the sides of your mat, expanding. And as you exhale, you feel the stomach deflate, letting go of all the breath. With an inhale, walk the hands in towards the body and come to lying on the back. Feet reaching down towards the edges of the mat. Adjust yourself comfortably onto the mat. And then let's take the left knee into the chest. Gently rock the knee side to side. Noticing how that feels on the back of your body. With an inhale, slowly extend left leg up towards the ceiling. Hands can interlace behind the left knee. Then maybe walk up a little bit further towards the calf. If you're feeling very flexible, maybe peace fingers reach for the big toe. Closing the eyes. Breathe deeply into the intensity of this hamstring stretch. With your next inhale, draw the left knee back into the chest. Exhale, left leg over to the right, supine twist. Reach left fingertips out to the left, and the gaze follows, taking the stretch from the hips through the shoulders. Notice how it feels to breathe in this twist. See if you can continue to breathe through the restriction that you might feel in your chest. It's always a bit more challenging to breathe in a twist. And inhale takes you onto your back. We send left leg long, draw right knee into the chest. Gently rock right knee side to side. And then with an inhale, reach right leg up towards the sky, toes reaching upward. And then we get to decide where we want the hands, either interlace behind the knee, maybe the ankle or the calf. Maybe peace fingers for big toe. Find a place that you can linger in and take about three to four really deep, even breaths. Slowly bend right knee into the chest, deep breath in. Exhale, right knee over to the left, right fingertips out to the right. Gaze at the right hand. Drawing right knee down towards the floor. Take a couple deep breaths in this final spinal twist.
With an inhale, unwind. Reach the legs long. Bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. With your next in-breath, send the breath all the way down to the belly. Breathing in fully. Long, slow, open mouth exhale, purse the lips and let it go. With our next inhale, fill up. Feel the breath reaching all the way down into the belly. Open mouth, exhale, purse the lips, let it go. Begin to breathe normally here, feeling the breath move through the body, feeling the heart lift and lower, feeling the belly expand and soften. It's Albert Einstein that tells us that our, there are two different ways that we can choose to live our lives. One way is as if nothing is a miracle. And the other is as if everything is a miracle. When we choose to look at our lives as if everything is a miracle, then we really step into gratitude. We really notice the magic of being able to take a full deep breath in and a full breath out. We begin to see the magnificence in the mundane beauty of all the ordinary daily life things that we do and we're able to step into that place of magic. As you go about your day, see if you can see those magical moments. Witness them, appreciate them. Let's bring our hands to Anjali Mudra at the heart. Thumbs to third eye, from my heart to yours, namaste.